and anything you want to say to yourself, maybe to remind yourself in the, in the future when you're looking back on this? This, this looks great. Many have built houses and made their homes. We have built memories. Our home is the great unknown. It is on the side of every mountain, under the blanket of every night sky, in the depth of every sea and ocean, and beneath every great wonder of our world. Our home is not Wellington. It stretches from Queenstown to Reykjavik so far. I promise to explore our home together till the soles of our shoes are all worn down. Matt was lost for a long time until he met you. A lovely girl with so much charisma and just the right amount of sass to put him in his place. You guys have one of the cutest first meeting stories ever. A handsome stranger notices a beautiful young woman struggling to move into her new flat. So he offers to help carry her wardrobe inside. It was during this time, one particular day, that there was a knock at the door. I opened the door to be greeted by this sweet young woman who was also holding beer. <laughs> it turned out that she wanted to thank Matt for helping her move some furniture. Over the next month, I'm pretty sure that Lucy came around at least twice to borrow things that she needed for baking. And I knew something was definitely up. She was not after just a cup of sugar. <laughs> love someone unconditionally, it's the nirvana of life. And I'm thrilled Lucy and Matt have discovered this so young. As a mother today, my heart feels full, really full. I am so proud of Lucy. She is a woman I admire. love of mine. It's been 10 years since the fates weaved our lives together and with a smile and a giggle you joined my life and showed me what companionship and mutual adoration can be. You've given me many special gifts throughout the last 10 years but what I covet most is that you help me see the light in life where I often see shadows. Show me how to enjoy the world every day. This gift you gave me has made me the man I am today. You're the most captivating and thought-provoking, driven, loyal, and thoughtful individual I've ever known. I'm always proud to call you mine. You know I can be strong-willed. <laughs> I personally prefer the term fierce, but I am so eternally thankful to have found someone like you who has never asked me to dim my light. Anyone who meets you knows about your infectious grin. I know I'm hooked. And Matt, you may now kiss your bride. The one thing that I was most excited about today was everyone being here and be a part and celebrate with us. So thank you very much for being with us today. This is our whanau. I just knew he was absolutely the right one for Lucy. Because he's, no, he's an accountant like mine. <laughs> As I look at my stunning and exceptional daughter on her wedding day, I am reminded of the seven virtues. Diligence, temperance, 
patience. Chastity, but maybe not me. <laughs> Mum, thank you for making a late dash for a tie in Christchurch. Because even though I am an accountant, apparently I still can't count to four. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise there'd be this much audience participation. <laughs> Ten years ago, I decided to change my life and pay forward a favour when, when someone helped me. And it was the best thing that I've ever done. I'm so grateful and thankful to myself that I made that decision. You're welcome. <laughs>